Greetings everyone. I went to a Tesla coil demonstration event and this is no regular Tesla coil. This is very large and in fact is powered by a pole transformer. And if you don't want to listen to me talk here, I will put the time that you can jump to in the video where the footage starts. So the story goes, a viewer of my channel contacted me and invited me to visit this event. It's about an hour and a half drive from me, out in the middle of nowhere. The nearest city is Chillicothe, Ohio, which is about 10 miles away. The event is hosted by a fellow named Roger who's into ham radio and does a lot of high voltage experiments. He has this big pole barn which is two stories high which he set up this very large Tesla coil. From the primary winding to the top of the toroids I'm guessing it's probably 9 or 10 feet tall. And this thing can throw off 17 foot arcs. I mean it's pretty amazing. And that's not the only thing there. There are several smaller Tesla coils, which are actually still pretty large. There are some that are solid state, some vacuum tube types, one that can play music. And there's also a bunch of other high voltage apparatus there to look at. So I thought it would be just a few of his friends and acquaintances, and there might be six to 10 people there. But when I get there, there is, I'm going to guess, about 40 people. And also, there were YouTube content creators there. One of them has a pretty big channel. His channel is called Styro Pyro. Has almost 3 million subscribers, and his videos get several million views each. So I was really surprised to see somebody like that there. But after the event, Bill, the person who invited me, gave me a few parting gifts. He gave me this uh, capacitor decade box. But look at the quality of this thing. I'm guessing it's around 70 years old. You know, this front panel is screwed on. I'm not sure what the case is made out of, but it's thick material. You know, today's project cases are thin plastic. And get this. In the factory, somebody went, tested or measured each setting, and they have a date code there, even initialed it. Imagine the quality, or the, the cost of such quality if this was produced today. And you know, this thing has got some mass to it. Nice quality instrument. The only problem is though, 70 year old capacitors, they have drifted. And they're slightly leaky. They leak a few microamps. I tested it at 64 volts. But I can still get some sort of use out of it. He also gave me this high voltage electric fence tester. It's got neon bulbs and a resistor ladder inside. And it works. It's really meant for pulse voltages only. So I'm going to give this to a friend who has a couple electric fences. So this would be a quick way to test that. And uh, this is a crossover for a speaker. And I can probably harvest some decent parts off of that. Some nice film caps. So anyway, thanks Bill for the gifts. Hopefully we can meet up sometime and uh, talk or do electronics. Or do something. But for now, I'm going to go on and show the footage. Hey guys. I'm about an hour and a half away from home. I come down to see this gigantic beast light up. They're going to run this Tesla coil. It's about nine feet tall, I would guess. I'm going to step back here. Rotary spark gap starting.
Ozone. Oh. It'd be a bad time for him to turn it on. There's the caps. It's got copper tubing. I started to build a coil like this, not this big though, maybe three foot. Had refrigerating tubes. I use acrylic. I built a little thing to hold the tubing. I think that's a strike rail there. There's the capacitators. As you can tell, it really, really punishing that same spot in it. And it always likes to punish that corner too. There's the circuit. There's really not much to it. There's the transformer for it, which is that pole transformer over there. There's the transformator. Okay, it's got a spring. Does it ever weld together? No, I've never had that happen. Yeah. The foot nameplate on it, probably back here. Quarter strikers go. This one doesn't have a lot of see anything. Very big capacitor thing, but it does a job on the big quarter. Yeah, how much energy? I can't remember. I don't know if you can see that. 19 kilovolts. Here's a vacuum tube. Tesla coil. Got a big RF tube there. Okay, he's gonna run the vacuum tube Tesla coil here. There's some other YouTubers here I'm not that familiar with. I guess this is becoming a YouTuber meet and greet type. Type deal. You can see the filament going in there. It's uh, yeah, it's just boring. pretty much a what? These filaments run pretty hot. It's just a straight tungsten filament. Uh, it's preheating the filament. Yeah. Hey, Rob, you got a switch over here that's still open, buddy. That's, that's okay. I'm going to run it in full smoke first. Okay. Uh, that's after burn. Full smoke. Here it goes. <laughs> that was full smoke. <laughs> oh, why don't you pull it right out of my hat? Oh, my hat. I'll see if it's 60 hertz. Yeah. Flash over there.
like that inlet of my vacuum that I'm wrong side up is that the diameter so it's super easy to uh, the only issue is like I have to care and I have like a, a, a filter on it. Well yeah that's great. Yeah. 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 Pretty cool. So right right here's where they where the charge came out where they grounded it. And we have these things here. I remember these things back in the 80s, I think. Whoa. That feels a little warm. Okay, now that the phone is cooperating with me. Look at that insulator. Ceramic. How big that thing is.